Hello, my name is Omar Trujillo. You can also call me Mr. T. I'm an aspiring high school English teacher that is here to share with you my philosophy of reading with or without technology. My main goal is when I assign and I teach reading is to have my students reach a level of comprehension that reading is not just done for the sole purpose of school assignment. Uh, I want them to understand that it's sort of a social endeavor. Think of it as a necessity, a lifelong skill that prepares you for the real world. I want my students to know that reading connects to everyday life in everything in life. I will teach my pupils to understand that reading is essential to functioning in society and for success. My students are a source of knowledge, a big source of knowledge with many, many, many years of experience under their belt. And life as we know it is complicated as far as I know. We each have a story to tell. I want to hear that story. I want to see them making connections to the readings and the, and the writings that we discuss in class uh, from their own perspective and their own personal experiences. I want them to share with us their own unique lives and connect it to the material. In chapter one of Dana J. Wilber's book, I write, she touches on something very important, the lives of today's high schoolers. In it, she states that um, they are marked by the presence of always-on communication. Teens are always connected to one another through multiple media and for multiple reasons, including friendship, romance, school, and other purposes. As an English educator, I am for incorporating technology to, re to teach reading, uh, but I would only do so if I was able to adapt the Triple E framework to my lesson plan, as highlighted by Liz Kolb in her book, Learning First, Technology Second. What do I mean by this? Well, that the technology I use would not just replace something that can be achieved by conventional teaching methods that lack the use of technology, but rather the tool I would implement would have to engage my students and allow them to focus on the task and not be distracted from the actual set of learning goals. The goal here would be to move my students from being passive learners to more active social ones. Also, the technology tools I would use would have to enhance the learning by developing a more sophisticated understanding of the content, perhaps by creating scaffolds to make it easier for my students to understand the concepts. Lastly, I would want the technology to extend beyond the classroom. I want to create a bridge between school learning and everyday life. I want my students to have a love of literature like I do and an understanding of genre. These two elements are often intertwined and having a fondness and comprehension of them provides a method of learning about cultures and beliefs other than their own. It allows students to understand and experience other systems of living and other worlds. Reading a novel that incorporates elements of adventure like Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn or one that has, uh, or one that has, or one that has historical foundations within the story like Solomon Northup's uh, 12 Years a Slave, or even novels that are epic in nature, like John Milton's Paradise Lost, which is my favorite, allow students to get a view of, of the inside looking out, a sort of um, personal insight into the minds and reasoning of someone else. Students can learn, understand, and appreciate reading in this manner. There are a lot of great technology tools I would use as an educator to enable and motivate my students to learn about the importance of reading. One of my personal favorites is Google. Under the Google umbrella or Google family, you have Google Suite, which includes Gmail, Google Docs or Documents, Slides, a text feature and a video feature where you can chat, and so much more. Then there is Google Earth, where you can virtually visit any country, anywhere in real time. And then there's Google Classroom as well, which is a free service for schools, nonprofits, and anyone with a personal Google account. So that's a plus. Classroom makes it easy for learners and instructors to connect inside and outside of classrooms or outside of school. Classroom also saves time and paper and makes it easy to create classes, distribute assignments, communicate, and stay organized. I wouldn't opt out of using other known technologies to my students like emails or text messaging, or even conducting research online and even using direct messaging because these are tools that are deeply embedded in the way in which students go about their learning. 
you know, they post on Facebook or on IG or on Snapchat. And sometimes we as educators dismiss that, but that could be an actual opportunity for them to expand their reading skills. It is another time and new educators like myself need to focus more on understanding our students before trying to push them to understand us. I don't mind teaching reading without technology either because the conventional way has been in existence for a very long time and most educators feel comfortable utilizing it. The only problem is that this new generation of students needs tech savvy educators like myself. I feel as if the torch is being passed on to us from previous generations of educators and it is our responsibility to bring the English language arts into modernity. The teaching of literacy needs to include a balance of not just reading, but writing, speaking, enunciation, and listening, structure, interpretation as well. I want my students to develop an extensive vocabulary and be able to speak eloquently when need be. I want them to feel proud of who they are, what they represent, and where they come from, especially when faced in a situation that requires defending themselves, speaking up, having a voice, being heard. This requires them to be able to understand complex vernacular. In order to understand complex vernacular, you need to learn it and you need to do so by practicing it, reading it out loud, understanding that what understanding what you're reading, summarizing, you know, content and connecting it to something personal. Most importantly, you need to practice, 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 practice writing about it, practice reading it, practice reading it out loud closely listening to what others are saying and how they're pronouncing the words, that is the answer. I also want my students to learn how to critically think when reading a specific novel, article, or a literary piece I assign. What makes the book stand the test of time? Why is Shakespeare one of the greatest writers of all time? Or why do you disagree and think Shakespeare isn't one of the greatest writers of all time? Explain it to me. I want my students to show me the logic behind their argument. To do so, they need analytical skills, the ability to gather and analyze information in order to understand some complex situations and solve problems. Students will take this skill set with them long after they graduate from high school. They will use this pivotal set of skills like communication, creativity, and data research, to say the least, to buy their first car, uh, purchase their first home, or even plan to start a family. I will achieve this by scaffolding student learning to ensure students are learning in a zone that is challenging enough for them, but not too difficult. Now, as far as reading with technology versus without it, they both have their pros and cons. Technology is way less expensive versus uh, print. Also, students can buy a book, download it, and share it with all their classmates if need be, especially those that are going through hardship, financial hardship. Um, then there is easier access with technology. You know, it can be done from various devices and pretty much anywhere. So it's, another one is convenience. You can take multiple books with you in the palm of your hands and on your phone or tablet or on your laptop if need be. You know, access it anywhere, on a plane, at the beach, in your car, at the gym while you're doing the treadmill. It's up to you. You can find material rather quickly. Just type in the search field and press go and there you are. You are also saving trees. And by saving trees, you're saving paper. As far as teaching without technology, well, let's just say that print is aesthetically more enjoyable. We'll say that it also smells good too. Who doesn't like the smell of print, right? And uh, print also gives students a sense of where they are in the book. Uh, they could see and feel where they are in the text. And that's important, at least for me. Print is probably easier on the eyes and less likely to encourage multitasking as well. So that's very important. Students are more likely to reread academic material if they are in print versus in, in digital format. As an aspiring high school English teacher, I will be reflective in my practice stay current in best practices and continually assess what is working and what isn't, with or without the use of technology. Give reading a try. After all, readers become leaders. 
Thank you.